Imagine Avatar, but a first person shooter. Crucible. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and it is time for Fortnite and Apex Legends to step aside. Why? Because this month Amazon Game Studios is releasing its first big first person shooter slash battle royale slash PvP PvE. This game is really a little bit of everything, but it's free. Yes. There'll be some kind of monetization, we'll talk about that later. So what we'll be discussing today is everything we know so far in a quick trailer from Crucible. But first, if you're new here, welcome. Here at Action RPG, I stream, I do tech reviews, I cover major gaming news, but the big portion of this channel, all things Action RPG. So if you grew up loving the Diablo series, if you're a fan of top-down, isometric, hack-and-slash style games, you are in the right place. So please consider subscribing and supporting small channels. All right. Let's get on to this crucible. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. Here we go. Okay, before we jump into the article, I just wanted to say again, do not forget to join the new Action RPG Discord server. The link is in the description below. I made it a little over a week ago and we already have over 70 members. So if you're looking for a new active group of gamers, a group of gamers that wants to jump together with from one game to another, please consider joining the new Action RPG Discord server. All right. This is actually the first time I'm doing a gaming article off of Forbes, which is where we're at right now. Written by Eric Kane. Crucible is a new hero shooter from Amazon Games. Here's everything you need to know. So you got your little picture. This is the picture that I had on the intro video. Amazon revealed Crucible today, a free-to-play PvP shooter developed by Relentless Studios, a division of Amazon Games. Free-to-play. I like that. It means I can try it out and not have to worry about paying any money. The game launches on Steam May 20th, so you got to wait a little under three weeks, and is entirely free-to-play, though it is not, though I'm not sure yet how the game will be monetized. Obviously, it's going to be skins or some kind of upgrade package, things of that nature. Um, Everybody does skins now. It's an easy way to make money. Even Valorant. I know a friend that already spent 100 bucks his first week. I'm looking into this and will update you what I find out. Crucible is a multiplayer third-person shooter with a colorful cast of characters. You'll choose between robots, aliens, humans, and a cat. Why you gotta be a cat, not a dog? Just watching the trailer below reminds me a little bit of Overwatched, Overwatch mixed with a dash of Destiny 2. Gambit mode with some Battle Royale tossed in, tossed in for good measure. There's a bit of Anthem in there as well, with a hostile alien planet and a third-person perspective. I see a lot of Anthem in this game when I viewed the trailer, and I am a huge fan of the Avatar movie. So when you see the trailer, you're going to know what I'm talking about. It's like the same color scheme. The planet is alive, and giant creatures, and all that type of stuff. Again, you'll you'll see what I'm saying. Players choose from 10 different hunters and three different gameplay modes. Each hunter has their own special abilities and weapons. So here's an example of three different hunters. Earl, an interstellar trucker who's built like a tank and has a gun size to match. Bug, a robot botanist whose primary concern is protecting his plants. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Summer, a champion fighter and former wield wielder whose flamethrower keeps things hot on the battlefield. Summer, hot, battlefield, hmm. During the matches, hunters collect essence, causing them to level up, increasing their power and enhancing their abilities. This game will launch with the three modes. So here's the actual three game modes that you will play when you are in Crucible, okay? So you have Heart of the Hives. This mode is basically a player versus player versus boss mode, pitting two teams against one another and against giant hive bosses. It appears all three modes will have a PvPVE element, but this one focuses on boss fights. Kind of a really interesting idea, right? If you focus on the players, then the boss and its little minions might be tearing you apart. If you focus on the boss, then maybe the player group will be focusing on killing you. So you gotta have like you know, you really have to work as a team and strategize on how you are going to complete the mission. I actually 
Not enough games do that. I think that's a really good idea. In Heart of the Hives, two four-player teams battle against boss hives that spawn throughout the world. Each hive contains a valuable heart, and the first team to capture three hearts wins the match, making each match a dangerous balance between racing to defeat the opposing team and battling to survive the powerful hives. That's what I just said. Now, one thing that worries me just about Heart of the Hives is like, you know, what if your whole team is killing the hive the whole time? And then that other team gets the final shot and, like, takes the heart. Like, that's the kind of stuff that would drive me crazy. And I know that's part of the strategy behind it. Um, it's just kind of where my brain goes. Second game mode, Harvester Command. This mode is essentially a domination slash hardpoint style mode. Teams have to capture and hold specific locations to win. Very simple. Almost every, you know, PvP game has something like this. Whoever, you know has the most control, gets the most essence, and ultimately wins the match. And then you have Alpha Hunters. Here we go. This is basically a smallish Battle Royale duos mode. In Alpha Hunters, eight teams of two fight to be the final team standing. Let me say that again. Eight teams of two fight to be the last team standing. In Crucible, every match is different, and players' choices really matter. Christoph Hartman, Vice President of Amazon Games, said in a statement, Every opponent, team, and mode poses, poses unique dangers, and no two matches are the same. So players must constantly adapt to everything the world and the other teams throw at them. We're excited to players to join the hunt in just a couple of weeks, and we can't wait to hear what they think. Again, this game is free to play, so as long as you got the space on your PC, download it. I sure as heck am. I kind of like what they put right here. Crucible will be one of the first two major titles from Amazon Games in 2020, followed by the launch of New World. Woo! In 2020. Man, I'm a nerd. In recent years, it's been hard for games not called Overwatch to really succeed in the hero shooter niche. Uh, for whatever reason, the genre is really tough nut to crack, which is very, very true. Basically, Overwatch owns it. Uh, Amazon Games might have better luck given its position in the industry, and I expect to see this is this is brilliant, and I expect to see we'll see a huge push on Twitch from paid streamers at launch. Amazon owns Twitch, after all, they should expect the company to push its own game on its own platform. Very very cool. Okay, that's basically everything there is about Crucible. Pretty straightforward. Uh, let me play the game play. It, it's a gameplay trailer for you, and then I'll come back and we will wrap up this video. Enjoy Crucible. Welcome to Crucible, where each match is a struggle for control. You and your teammates won't just be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the competition. You'll have to adapt to and overcome everything the planet itself throws at you. You'll work together with your fellow essence hunters to take down alien creatures, capture objectives, and crush your opponents in search of victory. Crucible attracts all types. Soldiers. Criminals. Rogue Agents. Hunters team up in three different game modes. Heart of the Hives is a four-on-four -four race to capture the hearts left behind by monstrous hive creatures. In Alpha Hunters, you and a partner take on all comers in a fight to be the last hunter standing. Harvester Command has two teams of eight competing to see who can rack up the most essence by controlling essence harvesters. Welcome to Crucible. Get in there and show the galaxy what you're made of. I can't be the only one that sees a little bit of Avatar when you watch that trailer. Come on. No? Anthem? No? All right. Maybe I'm by myself. So right now I am on Steam. And again, this game drops May 20th. So you do not have to wait too long before you get your hands on it. And it's free to play. So if you're looking for a new third person shooter, 
from Amazon Game Studios. Literally, they're going to be one of their first, actually the first major title, because obviously this is coming out before New World. We still don't know when that is dropping. You should check this out. Now, one thing that I wanted to note on here before we get out of here is the requirements for this game. Pretty interesting. So 15 gigs of space, it's actually not super huge, but when you're looking at uh, graphics, it's saying a GTX 1060 or a Radeon RX 570. Now, under recommended, like, those are, that's, I mean, that's a next-gen card, and I'm guessing that that'll play it on low to medium settings. So this game, based upon, I mean, you could tell during the trailer, it is very fast motion. It is probably going to, it's probably going to need kind of a next-gen PC, or at least GPU. So just FYI, if you have an older system, like, this game might not run it uh, very smoothly, because the visuals are going to overload your system. So that's it. Crucible. I am very, very curious what everybody thinks. Uh, me and my 14-year-old son, we have already made the decision on May 20th. We are literally going to play this game all day. And I need to do it more. So on May 20th, I will be streaming the entire day. And you could all watch me just get murdered over and over at this game. So that should be fun. Right now, I'm going to link some of my other content, so if you're looking for some other news, uh, take a look there. Other than that, that's all I've got. Crucible, May 20th. Stay home. Stay safe. Join my Discord. Aaron.